Hello guys, this is Paul McWhorter with lesson number 16 on using the Raspberry Pi and specifically we're learning how to operate the Raspberry Pi based on Linux in the terminal window or from the command line. If you've been through the first 15 lessons, you've learned quite a bit already. And today we're going to learn a little bit more about finding things. In lesson 15, we learned how to find files or search on files and folders using the find command. But what we're going to be talking about today is how do we find something that's inside of a file. Like let's say I wanted to search all the files <clears throat> on my computer, on my Raspberry Pi, that had a certain line or a certain word or a certain character in the file. So I want to search in the files, not for the files. In order to do this, we need to make some files, and in order to make some files, we also sort of review what we did in the earlier 15 lessons. First of all, <coughs> where are we? Where do we? How do we find out where we are? We do PW, we make our window active, and then we do PWD. You can see that I'm in the slash home slash pi. I'm in the home folder. I am user pi because we know when we log on to the Raspberry Pi using our, our default login, we log in as pi. It puts us into the pi folder. So in order to do this, I need to create, let's say, another folder called my files. So how do I create a folder called my files? Make directory. Let's reference it all the way from the top. I go home. <coughs> I go pi. I go my files. Okay, let's do an ls. There it is, my files. Now, how would I make, uh, you know, we could create empty files by just using the touch command, but we're going to need to have things in the files in order to search for them. So let's make a file. How do I make a file that I want to put something in? I edit it with nano. And then where is it going to be? It's going to be in my files. I'll reference it from the existing folder so I don't have to put the slash home slash pi. So we want to go down to my files, and then we're going to have uh, we're going to have uh, cars.ttxt. Okay, on my cars, uh, let's see. I once had a Humvee, which was the commercial Hummer, but it was the real Humvee. Then I had a Mercedes, which was a lovely car, Mercedes. Uh, my wife had a Jaguar, Jaguar, like that. Uh, then back in the old days when I was growing up, I always liked the Chevy. Okay, Just for fun, we're going to put Chevy again, but we're not going to capitalize it. Do, put these in here like I am because it's going to sort of illustrate things when we're doing search. I'm going to have Chevy, and then I am going to have uh, Chev. Okay. Then we can put Ford, and we can put... Uh, Nissan and being acknowledging our diversity and our Japanese friends we will also put Toyota with Nissan okay oops better spell it right I actually drive a Toyota Tacoma really like it neat little pickup these other cars I had back when I had a different job and <clears throat> had all kinds of kinds of neat cars now I'm just kind of more for reliable transportation I've kind of gotten through that fancy car stage of my life. All right, so we're going to save this. So I'm going to, how do I save it? Control O. It comes down here. Do I want to save it here? Yes, I just hit enter. And then how do I get out? Control X. So Control X, uh, enter, and then O. All right, let's do another one. Nano, and let's go my files slash dogs.txt. Okay, my dogs were uh, spook1. My dog was Susie. My dog was Spook 2. My dog was uh, Little Sweet. Then I had uh, Little Elmo. And then I had Ginger. These were all the dogs I ever had in my life. I took good care of my dogs. They lasted a long time. I had this dog when I was seven. I've had a dog my whole life, but these dogs have spanned from first dog to the dog I presently have, which is Ginger. Okay, so how do I save it? Control O down here. That's what I want. Enter, yes. And then how do I get out of here? Control X. Okay, let's do another one. Nano. <clears throat> and let's do my files. And then let's do classic underscore cars.txt. Okay. <clears throat> Classic cars would be the Mustang. Okay. Let's say the Chevy, the Chevrolet. Let's say the Chev Chevrolet. 
and let's say the model T, and let's say the uh, the Shelby Cobra, and let's say ooh the Golf Wing, the Mercedes Golf Wing. If you've ever never seen that, that's a lovely car. Okay, so those are our cars, and so how do we get out of here? Control O to save it, enter, and then Control X. All right, so now we have some files in my files. So how do we search for something? <clears throat> how do we search for something? Well, we use the command grep. So I say grep, and then what do I want to search for? I want to search for the word Chevy, and then where do I want to search? I want to search, I got to show it the kind of where, and so I'm going to go from my present location, my files, okay, slash, and then I'm going to go cars.txt. So I'm looking for the word grep, looking for the word Chevy, where my file slash car.txt. Okay, and what it found is it found Chevy. So it did say, yeah, Chevy is in there, in that thing. So it found it, all right? What if I searched for uh, Mazda? in my files dash cars txt it doesn't find it so i know that mazda is not in there <clears throat> so you got to say grep that's look for what you're looking for and then where you're looking for it now this is not too useful because you're just searching inside of a single file you tell it the file and then you look in it what if i want to search all of my files for chevy okay well i would do grep but then I got to tell it recursive, keep looking, keep looking, look everywhere, minus R. What do I want to look for? Chevy, okay? <clears throat> I want to look for Chevy, and then I want to look in, uh, where do I want to look? I want to look in my existing folder, okay? So that's saying, look recursively for the word Chevy in all of the folders, starting at my current, or it's just starting in my home folder, and then looking down. Okay, what it found it is, it found it in cars.txt. Okay, so you see it shows home slash pi slash my files, cars.txt, chevy.txt. What if I wanted to do it differently? Well, instead of saying the squiggly says my current home directory, which is slash home slash pi, that's my user directory. What if I just wanted to do it from my current directory? I'd put dot. Dot always means the current directory, and it finds it again. What if I want to go up one and then look all the way down? I would go dot, dot, go up and look everywhere for Chevy. Okay, found it again. <clears throat> now, if I look cat and it found it in cars, well, what if I look in, uh, in my, I'm just going to look at this, my files and then slash classic cars.txt. Why did it not find it here? Well, it didn't find it here because the capitalization is different, okay? It finds it case-sensitive, case-specific. What if I just want to find any Chevy, any Chevy, capital Chevy, little Chevy? You ignore the case. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say grep, find, how, recursively, starting where? Starting in my uh, user directory, okay? And then... Uh, I'm sorry, what am I searching for? I am searching for Chevy. Let's just do it, do it this way, Chevy. And then where am I searching? I am searching in my home directory like that. And it found it. Okay, but I want to now find all Chevys. So I go back at this R recursive and then space minus, A, minus I. And the minus I means ignore case. Find any Chevy independent of capitalization. Ignore case. And here, I find, in cars.txt, I found Chevy with a capital C. In cars.txt, I found Chevy with a little c. Remember, I had it. Let's see if I, we can look up here. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Uh, here it is. You see, I had Chevy and, uh, now it doesn't show it. Okay, but I had Chevy written both ways in the in the cars file. And then I had Chevy in classic cars. So it found all three, two in cars and two in Chevy. So let's just look at cars. So I'll say cat, 
and I'll say my files and then uh, slash cars dot t x t x t and you can see that I'd put Chevy in there twice and it found both of those okay it had found both of those okay what if I want to grep <coughs> and I want to uh, minus R do it recursively and what I want to find is I want to find spook and I want to look everywhere for spook okay what I can find is is that I had in the dogs file two things named spook spook one and spook two so it found both of those okay so it found spook one and it found spook two all right well what if I did uh, what if I wanted to find CH let's just look for CH okay or let's let, yeah let's just look for CH so now we're gonna come up grep minus R and I'm gonna find just CH like that and I'm gonna look all throughout my uh, user directory slash home slash pi specified by the squiggly okay well look at that that found all kinds of things what is all of this? What is all of this? <clears throat> okay, I'll tell you what it is. It's finding CH and all the hidden files. Okay, there's all these files that you don't know are there. If I say ls, okay, you just say, I don't have much there, but if I say ls minus a, you see there's a whole bunch there that you don't see. So when you search on something simple, just like CH, it goes out and it finds it in all of those hidden files. Okay, let's play around with it some more. So I'm going to say grep, I'm looking in, okay. I want to recursively look, so minus R. And then I want to find, uh, let's say I want to find, what am I looking for? Uh, I'm looking for Susie, and I'm looking where? I'm looking in all my folders from here down. Okay. You can see that it there's one Susie. It's in the folder my files and it's in the file dogs.txt and you can see that it is in there Susie. What if I wanted to look through all the files uh, all on all of the computer on the entire computer? Well I would go grep and then I would go minus R and then I would say let's look for Susie on the entire operating system and so what would I do I want to go all the way to the top folder so I would say slash and that's gonna look everywhere this might take a little while the reason this would not work is I would start getting permission denied get out of that folder get out of that folder you're not allowed here you're not allowed here if I want to be able to get into all those system folders I need to give it the what command sudo I need to tell it I'm a super user this might take a little while okay but you can see that it's looking uh, now well, let's see I got an error all right it didn't it didn't like that in that one but it should find it in most of them it did find in slash home slash pi slash my files slash dogs dot txt it found Susie so when it looked through the entire SD card it has found Susie one time and it looks like that it is still looking <clears throat> this could take a little while because it's going to look inside of every single file inside of every single folder on the entire um, entire in the entire uh, operating system or in the entire uh, SD card so that could take a little while and probably I'm gonna guess there's not another Susie in there that's not a system type name and so it's probably not going to be in there I'm gonna see if I can exit out of this let's see a control X did not do it control C yeah control C kicked it out of there so it kinda kinda killed that command okay so if you're looking for a file you use find if you want to find the files that have something in them you use the Rep. This is actually useful because sometimes you might have like written a Python program and you don't you remember that you you did this command or you did this thing and you can't remember what it is where well, you could search all your Python programs and you could search them on a certain term to be contained in them. That's where grep is real useful. Okay guys, this has been lesson number 16. Paul McCorder from toptechboy.com. If you're liking these lessons, give me a thumbs up, put some comments in there. It's always good to hear back from you. I enjoy the feedback. Think about sharing this video or subscribing to the channel. We will see you guys shortly in lesson number 17. Take it easy.